Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you around Tree Hill. And I know in my nature centers of Jacksonville, um, I did show you some parts of it, but I did not give an in-depth uh, tour around the area. So that is exactly what I'm going to do in this video. They open at around 8 and they close at 4, 4.30. I believe the last trail... Uh, they, they allow visitors to, to enter the latest at four. Um, so inside, after you go and if you pay or if you're a member, you show them your membership card, you walk to go upstairs into the pyramid-like um, visitor center. And they do have lots of um, educational uh, displays as well as animals that you can inter interact with upstairs. So as you make your way up there, you're going to see some historical parts around Jacksonville and I mean around Florida in general and some stuffed animals like you can see here and these are all animals you can find around the area okay so we also have um, beautiful murals that are painted on the side of the wall to the left and it just shows you the stunning landscapes around Jacksonville and then this shows you how you can um, encourage more wildlife to come into your backyard and a few of the things that you can do to get wildlife to, to you know, come to you. So it's talking about building a habitat for these animals, a shelter, you know, bird, um, bird houses and little areas that they can kind of find refuge and, um, of course, water and food. And then it also has little um, interactions for, for children, things that they can do to, you know, learn. It's I think it's a very smart way to get kids learning about, you know, science and their environment. So it's like a little game you can play. And then depending on how fast you are, you can compare it to animals that, um, you know, are at a similar speed. And then as you start making your way towards the top of the, the pyramid, or the top of this um, building, you'll start to see um, some of the aquariums and the different animals that are kept inside. So here you do have several several aquariums with turtles in them, and they were they were really cute. So if you go around different lakes in in Jacksonville or Florida, you'll find these soft shelled turtles. And the lake nearby where we are usually has like five or six of those soft shelled turtles. And then they have different fish from the area as well. And um, there's also a cute little, these are blue girl, a uh, cute little skunk. And he was in there or she was in there digging, looking for something. So again, if, if skunks don't feel threatened, they're not going to smell. They're not going to spray you. So just let them be. And I was just watching this skunk looking for its, its morning food. So I did arrive at around 1030 and um, at first there was not a lot of people there, probably one or two other families. But as I was making my way down one of the other boardwalks, um, I could hear like it sounded like a whole school of children had arrived and I could just hear them yelling and screaming. And it was at that moment I decided to leave. Because uh, as a teacher, I you know it's you can only get so much of loud, loud children, and I mean I understand they're excited or whatever, but I came here to kind of be alone and to enjoy nature and to be at peace and to have quiet. So here in the and they have a snake discovery room. They have several um, aquariums with snakes and turtles, and um, this guy was really cute. So yeah, they do have lots of different amphibians and turtles and you can touch some of them. So they do have in the middle a uh, touch tank and they had these guys out. I guess they were cleaning cleaning the cages, I mean cleaning the aquariums and the main one in the middle. So they had they were feeding them as well. And here these ones were still in the touch tank. So I did get to pet them and um, yeah, they were really soft. Well, yeah, it felt like their shell probably had algae or something, but they seemed really, really happy. Look, <laughs> his face is really cute. Okay, so then I made my way outside into the garden, and this is immediately in front of the visitor center. They do, I mean, you can always see hummingbirds here, beautiful butterflies and other kinds of animals. And keep in mind, they do have their own animals that are here all the time that they feed. They have two alligators 
an owl, several goats and chickens. And um, yeah, you can go and visit these animals every time you, you come to the visitor center. It's right outside the visitor center. So this bar, this little boardwalk here was closed the last time I came, but it was open. So I took advantage of that and I went to go say hello to the owl. But he was not very interested and they have a compost center where you can learn more about composting. And, um, and then I did do some of the... The trails within um, probably a five-minute walk all the way around. So these were the definitely the shorter trails and um, marked with green. So you have the green trails, the blue trails, and I believe a red trail along with some other ones. And uh, yeah, it was just a very beautiful morning, very, very peaceful until those school buses of children <laughs> arrived. And then as soon as I could hear all that commotion, I just decided to, I just literally turned the other way around and left. And, um, but I mean, because it's, it's, it's in a convenient location for where we live. So it's easy to access. It's only about five to six, seven minute drive over there. And uh, I do have the membership so I can go whenever I want, as long as it's within the business hours. So they do have wheelchair accessible um, trails and those are the paved trails. I would say all the way around, including the boardwalk trail, depending at what rate you're going, you can probably finish them in 15 to 20 minutes, which is a perfect morning hike for those of you who do like to get up early and just, you know, be alone and walk in nature. It's, I would say it is a very, very nice little escape from reality and from work. Just to be out in nature and to hear the birds singing, it was really, really nice. And it, I mean, it, it, it was hot, but it wasn't overbearingly hot. Like it felt really, really nice. So this is the main boardwalk trail. And probably, it'll probably take you about less than five minutes to get to the other side of the of the nature center. But because, um, yeah, you'll see, I did not get to finish it because I heard those, those rowdy kids. So I probably stopped halfway and made my way back to the car. But um, I definitely want to go back and get the other half of the trail because... Uh, if you watch my other video about the top trails in Jacksonville, you will see more of the other side of this center. And I did want to get more of the, the, you know, the trails that looked more um, nature-like, like kind of just natural and unkempt, which is what I, I tend to like more because you do feel like you're in, the, in a real jungle or a real forest or wilderness. And it, do, it did seem really nice. And there's le always less people on those trails. So now I'm making my way back to the exit and um, it was a nice short visit. So yeah, the trails do close at four and I believe the center itself closes at 4.30. Um, depending on your needs, you know, you could probably stay here for anywhere from 30 minutes to about an hour, an hour and a half, depending on your pace. And there is quite a lot to see and um, it's a very fun, enjoyable little walk. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.